Hi, welcome to today's vlog. If you want to skip straight ahead to the saxophone bits, they are here. Well, please stick around, watch the rest of the vlog. You never know, you might enjoy it. So it's currently 8.30 a.m. and we have the kids on the playground because I had to drive Katie to work this morning. Uh, because at 6 o'clock last night, after I finished the vlog, she phoned me up and had broken down. I then went along to help tow her home, well tow her to the garage anyway. Uh, and when I got there, I managed to do a U-turn because it was on a really busy road. Really, really busy road. It was quite scary actually. I then to do a U-turn and ended up in the mud. I got my own car stuck, so that was good fun. So... Yeah, we're waiting to see what happens. But today I'm heading into London to a specialist musician's clinic to get them to have a look at my finger and try and see what's wrong with it and what's causing all that pain. And I'm very, very grateful to the Musicians Union that we actually have that facility available. It's a service called uh, Bridge Performing Arts Medicine Trust and uh, I'm going to take you with me. <laughs> Never quite enough room for me and the tenor in some of these smaller lifts. One of us has to change size. Hopefully it's me. Got about 40 minutes before I have to get the train home. And because I have my tenor with me anyway, I thought it'd be a good chance to do a very quick, unscientific comparison between my 1956 Selma Mark VI and a few of the saxophones here at sax.co.uk. My usual setup the Dario Solid Jazz 3 Medium, my focus my link This is Andy Shepherd autograph series. Oh, the horrible bit of security tag around it. Never played this before. Looks like it's kind of bass on the Mark VI. Let's see. <laughs> Now, like 
really like it. I'm pleasantly surprised. It plays like a lot of the East, in, East Asian horns do. Um, this is pretty close to a Mark VI though. What I am really appreciating though, are the fact the pearl keys are slightly rolled, or they feel it anyway, given what I've just been at the doctors about with this finger, uh, and how much damage the Mark VI is doing to my fingers, this is causing me zero pain, absolutely zero pain at all, when I'm playing and stretching the, um, the C sharp B, B flat keys are in a much better position than they are on my six. So, they are pretty similar. My Mark VI here, the Andy Shepherd horn here. You know, to look at, I mean, how they get away with it, completely just ripping off Sell them Mark VI, I don't know. Five grand's worth though of Andy Shepherd horn, seven and a bit grand's worth of Mark VI. The six feels heavier, which is not usual. Against the low, so many modern horns, my six always feels a lot lighter and almost a smaller footprint, as it were. Obviously, got no feet involved in it. Oh, this feels nice. Boom. Okay, yeah, this is still much better. <laughs> do a proper review of this one because I've got one coming in a few weeks to a full review in the studio but this is the Eastman saxophone that Bob Mincer was playing the other week. This thing will not go in my six because the lyre hole in my six is so messed up and bust that it won't go in. So I'm going to try it on. I'll do it on the Eastman. Take care. Bye bye. So just back in time to go and pick the children up from school and then got to get back and then get on with a new course for Cambridge Saxophone students where we're going to be transcribing this. So on to the first lesson on our transcribing night train for Cambridge Saxophone. The first thing you're going to need to be able to do in order to get this right is to learn how to growl. I'm afraid if you want to watch the rest of that, you really do need to join Cambridge Saxophone as a member. Head over there, click the join now, join uh, up the waiting list, and then as soon as we get spaces, I will let you on there. Um, or you could join my Patreon page where just, I think, $2 a month, I've said, or $5 a month, sorry, you can get access to some of the uh, transcription videos. I don't put the full thing on there. You need to be a Cambridge Saxophone member for that. I am 
I'm trying to get some practice done, bearing in mind what the doctor said about my finger. Have you seen that he's still kind of dribble this on? He left me loads and loads of details on a business card, and then um, I put the business card in my pocket and it's all gone off. But I need to practice what I'm going to play on the radio tomorrow. So, uh, although that'll be today probably when you guys are watching this. So, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't seen it already, check out what I was doing yesterday here. Uh, this is what I was up to this time last year. Hit the subscribe button if you don't already. I will see you very, very soon. Thank you very much. Good night.